Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I'm here with a review of Diorama Dungeon Crawl Master of the Living Castle on Xbox. Now this was released on the 4th of October 2023, developed by Renegade Sector Games and published by East Asia Soft Limited. And I was looking to present a copy of the game to do this video review, so big thank you to them for that. Now this is a medieval fantasy game in which it's sort of like a side-scrolling adventure set in a sort of living castle as you have to work your way through it defeating enemies to eventually find and defeat the necromancer now this is a very retro inspired game it's inspired by like 16-bit action games and it sort of brings the old school challenging style of like low poly 3d set pieces uh, to like modern systems now You'll have to avoid traps, there's like light platforming sections, and you'll have to sort of battle enemies as you work your way through a host of different levels. And there's a good variety of enemies in this game, from skeletons, goblins, bats, all sorts of stuff like that, working your way up to a variety of different bosses. Now, I really love the art style on this game. I just think it looks absolutely stunning. I love retro-inspired games. I love um, everything that sort of like has that PS1 prior sort of art style, but running like nice, new and shiny on a modern system. Now, I must admit, I didn't really get on that much with this game, and not because the game is terrible, I just wasn't a fan of the control scheme. I felt it was very, very clunky. It's obviously been designed like that, but I just felt like I ended up dying and falling to my death more than I wanted, just because the controls were very, very clunky. Now, it is a very difficult game as well, especially as you progress through the game, but I did enjoy playing it. Now, it is rock hard. Like I say, if you don't like the sort of Mega Drive NES rock hardness, like old school Castlevanias and stuff like that have, this may not be for you. However, if you're an achievement hunter, you can get the full 1000 gamer score in under an hour, easily within half an hour, depending on your skill level, just by playing through the game. Now you can also get a variety of different special attack upgrades as you play through the game. These come in handy a lot of the time, especially when there's a, a large amount of enemies to be found. Now all in all, this game isn't bad. It's at a fair price, it's priced at £8.39. It's playable on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S consoles. Optimised for Series X and S with 4K resolution, 60fps and it supports smart delivery. And I love its sort of homage to classic games of the uh, old eras. I just feel like in making it feel more like those games from that time, they've made it like unruly difficult especially when you've got like the clunkiness of the control scheme and a lot of people will probably love that and think it's great i just found it frustrating but graphically sound wise uh, enemy design wise environment design wise i really liked it i just struggled with the controls to really sort of enjoy it more than just how i was playing it basically so i don't mind it would i play it again i'd probably not rush to play it again uh, once i got all the achievements but a lot of people out there will probably like this style of gameplay they might not mind like if you are like into dark souls and stuff like that you don't mind replaying the same sections over and over again trying to figure out like how to avoid like four enemies attacks at once uh, and figuring out the best sort of uh, sort of command chain so like oh, i'm gonna go here i'm gonna jump over that attack then i'm gonna hit this one then i'm gonna jump over that one then i'm gonna hit that one and you don't mind like having to replay that and retry it then this is a game that you may really 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 enjoy so check it out like i say it's available right now on xbox as well as other platforms including pc and console but that's that for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit that like button hit subscribe and we'll see you soon for more content Bye for now.